All right, guys, welcome back to another episode of Break 75. I'm here in Scotland, the homeland of golf. And I'm here on a very, very famous golf course today, Glen Eagles. This is the PGA Centenary Golf Course, which hosted the 2014 Ryder Cup. Europe, Europe, Europe. This looks incredible. The sun is shining. I've kind of just been absolutely ripping it on the driving range. This place is pretty special. Now today we've also got some special guests. Guy is joining me today. He's very special, he is. Also, Incy Mehmet. Now, Incy has been on the podcast channel before. She presents on Sky Sports. She's fantastic at golf, and I'm looking forward to playing some golf with her. So, without further ado, let's head out. Not much more to say. Sun shining, we're on a beautiful golf course, and I'm feeling good. How are you feeling? You re excited? I'm good, yeah. It's actually um, first time at Glen Eagles. Is it? And it, it surprisingly is. And just blown away by the facilities, really. It's nice. I just think it? it looks beautiful. I mean, I've just come from Renaissance for the Scottish Open, and that scenically is pretty breathtaking. But to come from there to this, I feel quite spoiled today. What do you reckon my chances are of breaking 75 today, Incy? I think they're high. I mean, okay. you're absolutely flushing it on the range. I was, I must admit. I've, I don't think I've ever seen you play in the, in, in the flesh. So I'm going to go for he's gonna make it i like it 75 i like it positive vibes only okay let's go first hole left the whites today 363 uh three wood just getting it down there beautiful beautiful backdrop mm, a little bit right off the first good hit but leaked fantastic thank you i might just go back home now to be honest <laughs> this is brutal like it's properly properly sat down in some very very juicy rough I'm gonna take all my might to get up there that is honestly the best i could have done from there because that was brutal oh rick i feel like i'd be getting booed if i was playing in the Ryder cup i'd be getting booed from the europeans <laughs> Mashed potato! Ah. Mm, still a little bit of room left in that, but it wasn't a bad chip. Yeah. Come on. That is one way of making a five. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, wind, hold it off. God, that's high, isn't it? The rough in Scotland is nice, isn't it? <laughs> I'm certainly, I'm certainly <laughs> testing it all, yeah. This golf course is stunning. This whole resort is stunning. What you got, boss? Too far. If I was on a flat lie, I'd have half a chance. Should work. That'll do. Might come out a little bit too long, that. So, I wanted to leave myself 100 yards away from the green. Um, I've left myself 56 yards away from the green. Slight misjudgment, not knowing how fast that ball would come off that slope, but genuinely, I've just hit that seven iron about 210 yards. In again. It's been hard. Ah. Um, I would love to just get lob wedge on it, flip it up to the top, but I feel like if that goes wrong, I'm suddenly into double and triple territory. Oh, I lacked any commitment. Frustrating. Bogey, bogey start. <laughs> Bloody hell. Beauty. Speed. That's what you needed to do around this, this hole. What do you reckon? Like a flat little draw? Oh, Incy. Mate, she's still got it. She really has. <laughs> what are you calling? I'm going to. I'm going to. Fairway. I'm going to. No, I'm going to cut it quite hard and like go with the slope. Nice. As good as it gets. Quick fact, and I only learnt this only a couple of uh, weeks ago when I was here. Now you might think I'm silly not knowing this already, but if you've ever, if you've ever wondered where Glen Eagles gets its name from, it's that. That's the Glen, and it's full of eagles. And I can vouch for that, because when we walked through it a few weeks ago, I actually saw an eagle. 
I don't think Inti's making eagle there. We need to make some eagles, that's the plan. Oh! What did that do? <laughs> Hit the buggy. It saved <laughs> me from going in the rough. <laughs> Oh, I just can't quite get my iron on pace at the moment. I actually thought I was going to be really good, but it's four or five feet short. Yeah. Oh, too much. Crap strike. Ah, that is not a place to miss. I have severely short-sided myself. I've got probably... 10 foot or so to get over, and I've got exactly five and a half yards to the flag. Oh, good part. It's hard to get up and down from there. So it's a blind tee shot, but this is what it looks like on the course planner. It looks very interesting once we go over this hill. Water up on the right hand side. Yeah. Shot right. Thank you. Yeah, that was really nice. This hole, if I'd have played it before, would have made it 10 times harder to hit driver off that tee because it's really tight. I've smoked it. Off that tee, I've absolutely smoked driver. Middle of the fairway, I could not have placed in a better position, but a few yards right, you're dead. A few yards left, you've got trees and you're dead. So my next job is just to hit it closer than Guy's ball because he just piped it straight next to the flag. I like full shots. I don't like little fiddly ones. That was better. Come on. For the sauce. Woo! I must admit, yeah, played that hole pretty perfect. <laughs> if I do say so myself. Okay, another par three, the six hole, playing downhill, slightly down breeze, pins 162. I'm going to rock it a 9 iron straight at it. Oh, I've towed the ass off it. I think I've left everything short. Oh, how was that so low? Silly bow gun. Might possibly be the easiest path on the course. There's your Healy cut. Bit like that. Beauty. Shot guy. Ah, oh, fade a little. Oh no, straight in the heart of it. Carry! Oh, it's fine. You are, that's <laughs> ridiculous. This is jammy as that it gets. jumped so far. Oh yeah. yeah. Might have to just simmer it. It's uphill, it's gonna stop. Work your way in. Okay, beautiful hole this, eighth hole, downhill, 393 yards. It's just so picturesque, it's beautiful. Bunkers guarding the middle of the fairway at a certain point, so three wood for safety down that right hand side. Uh-oh, might be sandy. Get lucky. Right, this might be the wrong decision, everybody. But I've just had a whisper. So I had a shot of sugar and I'm going to go for it. I'm 110, probably 115 to the flag. This bunker's pretty, pretty nasty, but 
I'm here for a good time, not a long time. Oh, kind of got lucky there because it's that terrible. Just work. Go. Sit. Spin. Tough pin to get close to that. Hit the pin. Oh, Rick, take a bow. Yeah. That was play nice. Very nice. Well done. <laughs> I am chuffed. <laughs> I'm really chuffed. <laughs> it's not every day Ricky Shields gets up and down from 70 yards. <laughs> okay, last hole of this nine, par five. Beautiful looking hole again. Uh, currently three over par. A nice little birdie to come to the turn would definitely help the scorecard. I just need a nice one so I can actually go at the green. Oh, it's come out toey. Get lucky, get lucky, get lucky, get lucky. That's perfect. That's done so well for you. <laughs> you see what it did from that angle? That's A1. Oh no, get lucky. What a layup. <laughs> That's A1. That's what you're meant to do, right? When it's your day, it's your day. <laughs> That's money. Pretty good. Sit. Oof, big bounce. Hard to get close up here. Yeah, that's what I mean. It freaks me out. I'm going to go left of the flag and just control it into a nice, huttable position. That's the plan. Carry. Ugh. Par fives are really getting me down at the moment. Yeah, awesome. Right, I need to get this one in. Oh, yeah. Great roll as well. Okay, par, finish the ninth. Pretty straight. Yes, Rick. Oh. Nice work. Nice Cracker. up and down out the bunker, I must admit. <laughs> three over through nine. Lots of golf left to go, but not out of it. Break 75 is still on. Just need a very, very, very good back nine. And under par back nine, in fact. I think that's doable. I do. First off, halfway house. Hello. Just a little reminder. 26th to 28th of September 2014. Europe, 16 and a half points. USA, 11 and a half points. Europe, Europe. Some nice bags. Before I come on to the sausage roll review though, this is clever. Just in case you're having a bad round, you can pick up some more golf balls. <laughs> Luckily, we're not at that stage yet. I haven't had lunch and I'm absolutely starving. This is torture. No, you're good now. This is the favourite part of the show. Sausage okay. roll with you. Uh, we rate it out of 10. Okay. And it's on your first bite. <laughs> is okay. it? And you're not allowed to put ketchup on yet. Do you ketchup or not? No. Are you ready? Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> mm. 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 Very buttery. Great temperature, it's hot. Good temperature, but biteable. Not burn your mouth. Um, I'm going to go as high as 8.6 out of 10. I'm going to go solid 7. Okay. I quite like a crispier crust. Um, and the meat's very meaty. Okay. So I just like it a bit smaller, but it's... <laughs> I look, you know what? I respect the intensity you've just given that. Right, par three, 10th hole, 170 yards, downhill, downwind. I'm just gonna hit just a really comfortable A tired. Try. Oh. Oh, shot. <laughs> I want more than that. I want bloody champagne being opened <laughs> over there. Nice. Thank you. Good bird. Beautiful. That is literally perfect. Even though I've never played the hole before, I would imagine that's perfect. That would be a goal in my life, to have a house that's used as a line off a tee. <laughs> to go, yeah, just at the house. Well, far enough so it doesn't get hit. Yeah. <laughs> 350 down the fairway. Just at the helicopter on the roof. Oh, might have just got snagged up in the rough. 
That's so good, isn't it? Thank you. Don't know why I expected. Yeah. Yeah, you hit it a lot better. Than that. And I don't know why I think that. I'm surprised by how long you hit it, I'll be honest. I think the other thing as well, because you don't, you've, you said on the phone last night, you don't, you're not played very often. No. You hardly play it. Like, to be able to just come out here today and just swing it as well as you have done and play with kind of a level of control. You might not think it, but I feel like you've played fairly nicely. That's lovely. If it goes. Oh, travel. Where is that going? Okay, I've hit some really, really awkward wedge shots today. They've not actually been bad hits, but they've just been terrible, terrible misses. Like, I shouldn't miss it here. I knew that there was loads of room left. This is just such an awful position to, to leave the ball in. Oh. Next to no room, I've got to stop this super quick. Ah. Oh. Got to take your medicine sometimes. And that was definitely a, a big, disgusting dose of the stuff. Good for speed, I suppose. Rick Shields, three over par. Bada bing, bada boom. Look at that. Behave. <laughs> <laughs> That's how it's done. <laughs> Good man. I've not such a big put on the man. Might be too much, is it? This is a long par four. Flipping heck. Stop drawing. Oh, stay, stay really good. Oh. <laughs> Is that nearly at the flag? <laughs> <laughs> there was me thinking that that golf shot was unbelievably close and I've got a funny feeling it pitched close but the bad news it didn't finish close it's rocketed this must have gone about 230 yards into wind it's ended up right back here at the back of the green annoyingly Took an uncharacteristically strong bounce right. Pacey. Ooh. It's frustrating when I feel like I've hit a good drive and a good second shot on it. Yeah. Come off with a silly little bogey. That was bullet straight, by the way. Perfect. Really nice. We're on the 13th at the moment. First of all, this place is mind-blowingly beautiful uh, and a really good test of golf, actually. Um, thankfully, it's relatively soft conditions. Our bad shots aren't as bad, but Rick's doing some good stuff. I feel after the halfway hut, after that sausage roll, um, it looks like he's kind of found something. He bounced back with a birdie on 10. Um, his swing's looking good. If anything, overpowered it on 12. Uh, almost made a good up and down. Four over at the moment. I reckon he's got it in the bag. I think he's swinging well enough. If he had to improve his score from now onwards, I reckon maybe just the iron play. I mean, he's flushing it off the tee. He's calling shapes. He's you know trying to squeeze fade. He's hit, trying to hit high draws. He's calling it. He's nailing it. Um, if anything, it's those irons. Get it a little bit closer. Roll them in. Birdie's your friend. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm backing the guy that he's going to break 75 today. Right, I'm 166 yards to the front and I found this fairway bunker, which I'll be honest with you, I actually thought I'd avoided. Just got to absolutely catch it as best as I possibly can. Oh my goodness, that's done well. Oh, it's drawn it a bit. Well, considering where I was in that bunker, I feel like I've done very well and I've just avoided the real thick stuff. Got a little bunker to navigate and hopefully chip it up and down. Great shot. Thank you. Wow. 
Wowzers. Very good. Yeah. Very good. good. Thank you. Oh, oh come on. <laughs> How clutch. <laughs> that was a nice up and down, that must have been. I'm happy to take four there because out of that bunker wasn't going to be easy. We go marching on. 14th hole, par four. Potentially drivable if an absolute rocket snorter was hit. Wind's off the left. Um, I'm going to hit driver, just try and get it up close and hopefully make up and down. We've got birdie chances left, but we've got to start making some. <laughs> Don't think that's going to be long enough to get there, but. It's in the right ballpark. That's really nice, that isn't it? Okay, I've actually put myself in a very nice position. So tight lie, loads of green to work with. So I'm thinking lob wedge, just nip it. You know those little nippy spinners? It's like it takes two bounces, dun dun, shh, goes to about two foot. I wish, I wish, <laughs> that's all a good game. Uh, I just think that risky, it's too risky. I've got loads of green to work with. I could do a little chip and run, but I'm just going to go putter. I know, I'm sorry. And listen, I'm sorry. But birdie I can live with, bogey I can't. So let's see if I can make a nice little birdie up here. Oh, that is awful. <sighs> Meat left on that bone. Pat Rick. Oh, I do feel disappointed there though. I'm literally perfect, front of the green. You're in that transition where your chipping's getting better, you're pitching, but you can't quite trust it yet, it'll come. Yeah, it's there somewhere. If you scratch deep enough, it's there. Oh, that was a big slice. Get lucky. Might be all right there, I won't be bothered with thinking at all. <laughs> it's perfect. That was probably best of the day, that one. Watch that one go. Oh, baby. Right, this is yardage. 149 yards. The pin is on a, on, a, on a shelf that looks about four yards wide. It runs off at the front, runs off big. It's got to be the exact number to have an opportunity for a birdie putt. So it's either, these are my two options. I go with pitching wedge. 46 degree or 9 iron 42 degree. I'm gonna go wedge. I am. Because I feel like front left is not the worst miss in the world. I feel like long is a terrible miss. And with the, the actual fairway tilting down towards the hole, it's gonna come out a little bit flatter. Right, this has got to be absolute money. I'm gonna pitch it between the, the pin and the right side of the green, one hop and just drop it in close. Come on, Shields. Okay, after pulling it into this little runoff area, I am going to try and chip it. I am. I'm going to do it. This is it. This is my time. Oh, so bad. I didn't duff it or thin it, but it was terrible. Got a long range put for par now. Ah, it's not there just yet, ladies and gentlemen, for a par and to potentially keep the dream alive. Nice and positive. Ah, silly, silly bogey. Five over, three holes to go. I need to make three birdies or an eagle and a birdie, two eagles or two eagles and a birdie. Any of those combination would be absolutely fine. Three pars does not get me to break 75. I basically need to I need to shoot three under in three holes. So let's do this. Play for it. Whoa, look at that bounce. Second shot into this par five. I'm 230 yards away. I've got a massive amount of water to get over. It's massively into wind. So I'm going to absolutely rock it a three wood. 
Carry. Trap. I can hold it from there. Right, I'll be honest with you. I don't know why I brought my putter down because I'm not going to need it. This is for a three, for an eagle. A little splash bunker shot. Splash it just to the right hand side and let it just collect down and just drop straight in the middle of the hole. Dig, dug its little gnashes in. Okay. To keep the dream alive. Birdie here on 15, come on. Right to left, up the hill. To keep the dream alive. Keeping the dream alive. Two to go, two birdies needed. Ah, little left. Oh no. Okay, this needs to go in. Oh, <laughs> had a look, but now it's miles away. Okay, this needs to drop and I need to eagle the last. Oh, so bad put. Oh, all right, Albatross the last. <laughs> right, par five, Albatross needed. Right, shot 74, so this has to go in. I'm only 209 yards away. I need to do a little cheeky Garrett Clark, don't I? From here. Hey, stranger things have happened. Come on, this is it. This one to break 75. Wind. Oh, this looks very good. Go, go. Oh. Literally five yards short of being very, very, very close. Damn, not today. <laughs> it would have been ambitious anyway, to say the least. 18th hole, just front edge of the green, and it was so close to getting very, very, very close from here, but it's not. So this chipping for Eagle and for a 75. Come on, come on. Roll! Ah. <laughs> okay, this for a par for a 77. <laughs> that, that only just went in as well. Into that was a pleasure. Thank was, you very much. Tough and challenging. Thanks for having me. Guys, thanks for watching. Guy, thanks, pal. That's great. Right, that is episode 11. Glen Eagles. Tough, hard, challenging, lovely, amazing. 77, not the best, but never mind. We'll see you next week. Subscribe and like. Peace.